Hi all. I want to do a do a quick video on Microsoft 3D Paint. Uh, in case you haven't heard about it, it's a new program that's come out with uh, the new Microsoft updates. Let's see. You go down to P. We're on Windows 10 here on P, and then 3D Paint is here. If you haven't gotten it in the updates, you can go to the Microsoft Store and get it for free. It's at this link here. But uh, I think most people, if you've uh, gotten Windows 10, it it's automatically downloads. It's probably on your computer and you haven't even noticed it yet. Okay, so I want to start at the very beginning for the people who really don't know anything about paint or 3D paint. So it used to be... that all we had was paint. Paint is just a small art program that came with Microsoft Windows. Uh, down in the accessories folder it's moved around a couple times so you might have to hunt for it. But on Windows 10 it's in the accessories folder. Here's paint. Okay so this is where we would make our picture. Okay, so this is what they would call the canvas. Okay, so like if we go and open up this picture here, this is like an artist, when an artist paints a picture, they have a canvas. They paint on the canvas. Okay follow me here this will make sense to you as we as we get into the 3d paint okay so we have paint here you can drag these little squares out and make this bigger you can make it smaller so just to go through some of these things briefly we have these things we can draw squares We can draw circles. We can change the color. See how see how we have these two color things here? We can change the color to red. And draw arrows. This one here would be our fill color. And then we could go like solid color fill. See no fill or fill. Okay, now uh, we could do text. You can change the text, you can change the size, you can bold it, you can italic it, you can underline it. Uh, what's nice is you could also type in a bigger size. See like this one here you could only go up to 72 but in this box here you could actually type a bigger size. So you could get some really big text here. Okay. Uh, something else that's nice like here's our selection tool. I just want this square selection here. I can drag around here and click crop and that cut out all the other stuff. We have an eraser here 
working now it, it's erasing with the color we have selected here I'm going to select white and then I'm going to erase the white okay and then we can get a fill color like here I'll select this one here click yellow then I'll click the paint can and click here and it filled in all the space that it, it could get to it, it couldn't get to these spots so it didn't fill those in yellow I could click in there and click in there to fill in those spots and I could resize it they make it 200 and with this guy aspect ratio is that it's just it's going to be expanded both ways the same so it's not it's not stretched out and, lo and looks funny okay so actually there's a lot of stuff that you could do in paint like here you can select colors just select the color here or you could drag this little guy or you could change your color here or if you're into this type of thing RGB you, you could actually type in a number here and create your color if you understand this stuff yeah. okay there's just these two tabs we could zoom zoom in to see it bigger let's say we wanted to work on something a little closer zoom back out to a hundred percent so we have these two tabs here and you can see there's no way to save right if we wanted to save it that's this little blue tab here that's our file menu and there's all types of things that we could do here to save a file to save a picture we click on this guy here and we do save as a BMP BMP is stands for bitmap uh, but that's the way you normally save a paint file so here we're saying we'll name it hello and it's gonna be saved as a BMP file and I'll save it to my uh, paint 3d folder so now we have this guy here hello.bmp okay we could save it in other formats JPEG or GIF are the other two main ways to save usually photographs things you take with a camera are saved as JPEG and clip art like this picture here clip art is saved as GIF there's some overlap it doesn't really matter much for most of us but that's the reasoning behind there and then pings are like a higher quality PNGs and then we have these other formats here where we could select this drop down here we have TIFFs, TIFFs are another high end we have 24 bit bitmap, 256 color bitmap 16 color monochrome would be like a black and white Let's see so mono and we'll, we'll save that one so it just reduced it to black and white yeah. okay so that's just a quick introduction to paint in case uh, you've never messed around with that so now we have 3d paint there's a couple different ways you can get to it you can click on a picture and say edit in 3d paint okay and uh, 
we can get to it here. Three D paint here. So let's right click there. We'll pin it to our start screen. So it's uh, the icon is shown is the last picture that I created with it. That's kind of odd. And we'll we'll also pin one to the taskbar. So the taskbar gave me a normal icon here. Before we get started, you used to be able to right click anywhere and say create a new bitmap file here for a paint file. Don't let the word bitmap mess you up, it just means paint file. Okay? And th they took that off of here. It's been there forever. I don't know why they take it off so uh, we could probably add it if we wanted to but uh, what I like to do is like I'll have a blank picture and I'll right click it and say edit and usually when you edit it opens it up in paint so you can see how that opened it up in paint. See how it says paint here. Now see I this is just a general JPEG that I use to create my YouTube icons. This is like my starter file. So I have this ready to go. And then I can just add whatever the video is about here. But that's how I would normally do it. I would just I have this generic JPEG here. What you can do is like you have your you have like a starter file you can right click there and go edit and paint 3D. Okay so here's paint 3D. You've got all these you have all these items that you can work with. Instead of just having the two tabs here they've expanded it here and they've put things on a panel over here okay so instead of starting there let's uh, let's start just a blank file here so we can start from the very beginning we'll go open paint 3d so now it's saying well what do you want to do you want to open a new file you want to create a new file you want to open an existing file paste paste a 2d or 3d file from your PC okay so we'll go create a new one so you can see it created a new canvas this white area that's where we can work I can't right click on the screen and get nothing okay so this is our canvas we have these guys along the top and as we click on these guys this stuff over here changes this one here goes out to the Microsoft website and you can download pictures, 3D pictures for free. You have to sign in to your Microsoft account in order to uh, to actually insert the pictures into Paint 3D. Okay, and then we have this guy here. This brings us to the Save menu. We can create a new file, we can open a file, we can insert a file, save, save as, export. 
this export's important. Save it as a 2D picture, a JPEG or other. Okay, so when we chose other, then we have these other file types that we can choose from. PNG, JPEG, bitmap, GIFs, and TIFFs. Upload to Remix 3D. We can print a file, we can share a file. Settings, help, feedback. Now these settings, some of these are in those panels. This welcome screen was the first one that we saw where we chose new. Use compact view. Reduce the size of the sidebar. And make more room for a workspace. That was that guy down the right hand side. Show perspective. Create in a 3D workspace. That shows depth and relative size. So that's what we'll be doing. So that's on. Adjust display quality. Choose how Paint 3D renders to improve your experience on this device. Normal. Ultra high. I guess if you want a high quality picture. Okay, and then to get back to our canvas, click the little arrow here, and that gets us back here. 